Hello everyone, welcome to Codename Outbreak. Welcome back, rather. Mission 2, Cobra Stroke. All this text is taking away my frames per second. Uh. Oh, this takes place in Oregon, does it? Military Medical Research Center. On the 18th of April, 2012, basing on the data obtained in the course of the Black Nest operation, there appears to be a series of researches and experiments to find out the nature of the extraterrestrials brought to the Earth by meteorites from a comet tail. Hmm. On the 20th, new messages about the signs of people getting infected with alien parasites come from Meteor Falls sites. Local authorities cannot tackle the disaster consequences. On the 28th, an extraordinary UNO meeting... Wait, at an extraordinary UNO meeting? What makes that meeting so extraordinary? Well, they decided to set up an international sea force organization aimed to oppose the alien invasion. Members of the commando subdivision who participated in the Black Nest operation were commanded to one of the sea force military subdivisions. On the 30th, a mishap occurs at the Military Medical Research Center in Oregon. During one of the experiments, extraterrestrial organisms break out from the cells they were kept in. After their quick spread through the ventilating shafts, the alien parasites infect virtually all of the center personnel, including the security. A mishap, is it? Hmm. Two entrances to the base, as you see. Well, medical facility. The center is located deep in the island. Unfortunately, before more experiments started, the security system was enforced with a marine subdivision and a tank. Evidently, they all have been captured, while none of them radioed. By the way, I'd like to play this, play this on easy, because it is much, much, much harder than the first mission. New armament! In addition to the existing Universal M36 rifle, the Sea Force Armory has been supplied with Universal Assault Rifles M38 and M38R. The second one has a inbuilt self-guiding rocket launcher. The objectives? Information acquired during the alien spore researches is extremely important. Regaining the control of the center is commissioned to your subdivision. The first stage of the operation is to overcome the system of towers and patrols to follow suit with sneaking into the very center. Hmm, with a capital C. Okay, we'll, we'll use the same team as last time, Dragon and Hacks. As you can see, their stats have grown. But I showed you that last time, didn't I? Hmm. It's a pity Dragon can't carry that much at the moment. Because with each... well... With each version up of the weapon, well, it's a, it gets a little bit heavier, each version. So, the Assault Gun M38 also includes the Buckshot. Which is nice. The buckshot is kind of hard to use in close range, but the AI are very good at it. So I'll give uh, a bit of uh, buckshot to dragon, although medkits are also very important. Missiles. Dragon won't be needing a missile. Hmm, I believe we'll only need two missiles. Yeah. After all, we will be going in quite a uh, interior later, so it is a good idea to pack some buckshot. And myself. Ooh. Oh, nine missiles! That's hacks. Ah, oh, well. Uh, I'll uh, take a medkit. Uh, we we really won't need nine missiles. Maybe eight, just to make things a bit easier for us. I'm not going to pack too much buckshot. Just a couple of uh, boxes. 
Hmm. Uh, the enemy will have plenty of ammunition of their own. We, we can only carry one uh, medkit, despite uh, if we have um, enough weight or not. But well, I, n I never knew he could carry so much, but hey, this is quite good. Now let's... let's take eight missiles, just because we can. <laughs> we will be meeting a tank, just like the uh, briefing said. Uh, hmm. What do you think? Urban or forest? Hmm. Well. Yeah. Uh, I think urban shall do it. We'll just save first. <laughs> yes, I'm calling that one first, still. In fact, let's go on to the next part, because I don't want to lose this piece of the recording to a crash. <laughs>